so hello, Mr. Dieter Dokfer. Hello and welcome at the Super Booth 2022. Uh, well, I'm glad uh, to see you again and now you see we are all without masks and uh, the weather is fine and uh, people are coming again so it's it's really a great show, it's a great event and I'm, yeah, it's I'm, really glad, nice to to be, I'm glad to have you here. Really nice right, to be back, right, isn't right. it? Um, so you've got a few new things to show us, right? Yeah. First of all, we're going to take a look um, at the stereo multi-mode yeah. filter, right? The stereo filter, the idea of the stereo filter is to have two filters where you have uh, controls which can be used uh, to control both filters simultaneously and you also have controls uh, to adjust uh, the parameters of each uh, filter individually. For example, we have a manual control for the frequency which affects both filters, but you also have individual controls for filter 1 and filter 2. And the same is valid for, for the resonance. We have a Q control which is valid for both filters and additional two small controls which uh, affect the individual resonance. And we also have um, controls for the filter type. We use a 12 dB multi-mode filter and we have one control uh, for filter 1 and one for filter 2 where you can morph continuously from low pass via notch and high pass to band pass and we have a link switch which can be used that this control also controls uh, the filter number two. So it's totally up to you if you uh, control uh, all filter par parameters simultaneously of both filters or individually of each filter. So it's not a pure stereo filter, it can be used also as two Just separate two mono filters. Yeah, Excellent. okay. Okay, and so I will uh, show you uh, some sound. I use just a uh, quad VCO sawtooth processed by, uh, by, by filter and VCA as, as audio input. So now we have low pass filters for both and um, frequency is, is open for both filters and now if I move the, the control you hear as the low pass filters of both. And I can continuously morph from the low pass via notch to high pass. Now we have two high pass filters. And we can add a little bit of resonance for both filters. you now is uh, the spread of the filters. We have a, a manual control for the spread which defines the difference between the two frequencies of the filters. You can uh, control the spread manually. We also have a control voltage input which is now connected to, a, to an LFO so that the spread uh, between the frequencies uh, can be uh, voltage controlled. This is uh, the control for the modulation of the spread. Now the spread is automated by the by LFO. And you can go back, for example, to the to the low pass. Modulation of, of the spread can be also much faster, like that, and can be even in, in audio range if required. Yeah, I think these are the, the main features of the filter. Most important uh, is the thing that you have controls uh, for both filters simultaneously and also controls. Uh, to operate each filter individually, independent from the other one. So um, is, is this kind of ready to go? Where are yeah, we in it's, production? It's, it's nearly ready to go. Uh, the uh, electronics is, are already made, but we had a, a problem with the front panels. The, the mounting holes for the front panels of the first uh, run of the panels is wrong, so we have to manufacture the panels again. Right, okay. So, uh, but I hope it will be available in June.
I think so. Brilliant. And is there a kind of final euro price on that? Uh, approx- uh, the, it's available in uh, in the vintage version in black and also in in the grey version. I think it starts from 250 euros, something like that. The vintage is a little bit more expensive, but it's a little bit more than 250. I'm, I don't know the exact price. Brilliant. We also have uh, some minor uh, new modules. We have a four-fold attenuator. It's nothing special. You have four controls and four passive attenuators. It's uh, just a, a very simple tool. Very useful, though. Yeah. <laughs> and we also have a new mixer, which I show you uh, in a patch. Uh, of, of the frequency shifter. The frequency shifter A126.2 uh, uh, we have released last year at the Super Booth. Yeah, we uh, saw it in September, didn't right? we? Yeah. And uh, what I show you here is a special patch. Um, the difference to the normal frequency shifter uh, is this one. I do not use the internal quadrature VCO, but I use an external quadrature LFO. The reason is that I will show you uh, some effects with very low uh, frequencies. And the second uh, which I will show you is we have a mixer here, it's a new one. It's an inverting interrupting mixer. Um, the idea is to have for each uh, input a switch um, to switch between on, off and invert. The inverting makes sense if you use the mixer for example to uh, uh, mix control voltages like ADSRs and LFOs. So it's essential if you add the ADSR positive or negative for example. And it's also interesting if you mix uh, correlated audio signals. In this example, uh, I use the second input for feedback of the frequency shifter output. So right, I, okay. I, I feedback the frequency shifter output to this input, which is now zero at the moment. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's hear it. Let's hear it. I start with a normal uh, frequency shifter sound. It's just a, a frequency shift with a, a shifting frequency generated by this one, which is in the same range as the internal, but I use it now external. Then what, what I do now is I switch <clears throat> the frequency of the LFO to a, to, to a lower range and I start with a normal uh, frequency shifting sound and I go down with the frequency little by little and it sounds like that. is a lovely stereo effect. After all, it's a frequency shifting in the one hertz range, but for the human ear, it's a psychoacoustic uh, effect, stereo effect, which, uh, especially when you use the headphones, you hear it. Uh, yeah, it feels like it's bouncing around right, inside right. your head, doesn't it? Okay, and what we do now is, I add a little bit of resonance. To the to the sound with, with the feedback part, with the right. feedback Excellent. and yeah, this it. it sounds like that. Even go lower with the frequency. Well, and that's really a sound you would not expect uh, a frequency a, shifter. For a yeah. Frequency shifter yeah. yeah, it sounds massive. Yeah. And uh, there's uh, still one thing uh, we want to, uh, to show. The frequency shifter has a control which can be used to mix between up and down shift. And this is all the, in the feedback. And it's a difference if you uh, feedback the down. Mm-hmm. 
so it's the down between both and it's the up and in addition you can invert the signal or not and it uh, again adds different sounds yeah brilliant i think that's uh, what i wanted to show you uh, at the super booth and uh, thank you and bye bye thank, thank you very you much Dieter. bye bye